In an endeavor to serve the deep water exploration and diving, Rolex introduced Submariner in early 50s with 100 meters of water resistance. But they didn't stop there. There was yet a need to dive down further and explore the waters deeper, hence the birth of Sea Dweller in 1967. A watch rated at 610 meters of water resistance, domed crystal without cyclops lens, triplock crown and two lines of red text. It's a rare occurrence that Rolex stopped production of its iconic watches from 60s. And this surprisingly wasn't the case with the Sea Dweller and it was sadly discontinued in 2009. The 2014 saw the release of C12 4000 in the same 40mm case size and then 2017 marked the 50th anniversary of the line and we have the refreshed 43mm C12 and the return of the red text on the dial. The size of 43mm created mixed sentiments with purists not quite happy with the larger size and the addition of Cyclops lens that was never there on the Sea Dweller line before. Yet the red lettering for the name was one common element that was welcomed widely across the watch community. And well, this first and the only 43mm Rolex sports has realized the dreams of many modern watch collectors too. The new Sea Dweller reference 126600 features a modern stance of Rolex and offers all the latest features that you would expect in a modern tool watch, yet with the reliability and watchmaking experience from Rolex. The manufacturer that remained conservative and consistent with their 40mm case size in professional models for many decades, now embracing the modern trends and the needs of time to offer a larger and bigger watch. First came out the Deep Sea in 2008, then the Explorer 2 in larger size of 42mm case. And then in 2017, we have all new Sea Dweller in 43mm case size. And if you put it this way, there is essentially no other choice you have in the Rolex professional range if you are in the market only for 43mm case size watch. The new SD43 in many ways has similarities and design resemblance with Rolex Submariner. You get the same hour markers, same dial hands, similar black dial, cyclops lens, all brush bracelet and the case with the polished sides. And overall, the vibe and the feel you get with SD43 on the wrist is almost the same as you get with Submariner, except for one difference. Everything in SD43 from its design to function is taken one step ahead of what Rolex Submariner has to offer. So in a nutshell, we can say that this Sea Dweller 43 is an over-engineered and a more pronounced form of the vibe that you get from the Submariner. So did you ever say less is more? Let's talk more about it in the comparison video with the Submariner I'll be releasing in a couple of weeks time. The new Sea Dweller takes the water resistance to another level, down to 1220 meters. The additional rating meant that additional engineering was required to allow the watch to deal with the greater depth and we have in return the helium escape valve added to the case. The case thickness of 15mm also works relatively better with the larger 43mm case size than the previous version of 40mm case without the cyclops lens. The vintage vibe of the watch is well maintained with the dial color and the texture. The dial here is not rich or deep or glossy black, rather it's vintage or washed out black and it's very different from the one you get on the Submariners or GMTs. The most interesting and sought after design element is the red text in the dial. It's worth mentioning that the first Sea Dweller from 1967 had the same red lettering and that the return of the same red text to celebrate the 50th anniversary is a nice nod to the original reference. The case comes with beautifully polished case sides and I personally love the intermix of polishing on the case sides versus the brushing on the top surfaces which not only enhances the wrist experience but also adds a little luxury and jewelry look to the watch. The brushing on the case and the bracelet is not one of the best but it's very good and does offer you the experience upon the flick of the wrist. The brush bracelet means that there are no blingy reflections from the watch and this complements perfectly with the tool nature of the watch. I personally much prefer and enjoy the all brush links on the oyster bracelet than the polished center links on two-tone watches or GMTs or Daytona. The bezel comes with coin edge protrusions and the teeth at the edge are very appropriately sized to allow for easy rotation. 
It's really little details like these that make Rolex a very special tool watch compared to everything else out there on offer. The new reference comes with 3235 movement which boosts the power reserve to a substantial 70 hours as opposed to 48 hours on the last movement caliber 3135. The movement operates at 28,800 vibrations per hour, featuring 31 jewels, Paraflex shock absorption system and parachrome hairspray. Rolex watches are not just the figure of function, rather they are made to function in the most stringent conditions and environments. Being true to its core design and function of deep diving watch, SD43 comes with brilliant blue loom that is very functional and relatively long lasting too. The bezel is unidirectional and you have a loomed pip to be able to time the minutes by turning the bezel anti-clockwise. The loomed seconds hand means that it can easily be used to time even the seconds underwater or in darker ambience. Under the macro, I could see some minor scratches on the minute hand, but they are not of serious nature and can't be spotted with naked eye. I could also see similar minor scratches on the hour hand, but again, they are relatively superficial in nature. The seconds hand comes with similar scratches all around on its surface and the joint is also relatively basic in its finish. The undersides of seconds hand is neither polished nor brushed. The hour markers is one area I would like to emphasize on and the hour markers come with relatively very basic workmanship. And what you are seeing isn't so much a dust or a smudge mark but apparently a lower surface finish. So it's likely the standard quality of finish they are built to. The 43mm size will make you think that this watch wears large, but on my 6.5 inches wrist with the wrist span of 55mm, the 43mm seat dweller to me wears pretty much spot on. And the reason for its very good wear even on smaller wrist is that although it is 3mm larger than the Submariner on the case, the lug to lug is only 1.5mm taller. That is, we have 50.5mm lug to lug on the case. For your reference, this is 0.5mm shorter than the lug to lug on 6 digit Explorer 2. And then the top surfaces of the lugs also taper down, so the watch contouring to the wrist is actually very good from what you would expect from 43mm Rolex. The case is intelligently designed and resultingly you have a watch with greater wrist presence, yet it contours to the wrist just very seamlessly even on relatively smaller wrists. I'm personally a fan of brushed oyster bracelet. And then in this case, you are getting a wider 21mm bracelet too, which adds to the manly looks and feel of the watch, yet doesn't cause the watch any departure of the elegance or the class on the wrist. Rolex C Dweller 43 is the watch that you would be looking at if you are in the market for iconic Rolex looks and vibe, yet you want something that has a little extra heft and size to it than the standard Submariner. You would be looking at it if you want a watch in an understated and versatile flesh of steel, yet you want to make a statement with the wrist presence and bolder size and profile that the Sea Dweller has to offer. With ST43 on the wrist, you have a signature Rolex face on the watch, yet that red text that links it back to 50 years to make the statement in what represents the historic contributions to reach the deeper depths of the ocean. The knowing of the unknown and exploring of unexplored is practically impossible without relentless dedication and commitment. And if you appreciate human endeavors to discover the unknown, you have a reason to smile.